From the Washington Times, I'm Tim Constantine. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Director Martha Williams has gone all in on being woke, labeling the push for diversity, equity, and inclusion her top priority at an agency whose mission is to protect species and preserve their habitats. Under Ms. Williams, the agency has removed the limit on how much paid time off workers can use to take part in employee diversity organizations, such as gay right groups. Now they can ask for as much time as they feel they need. Ms. Williams has directed supervisors to approve the requests, and employees will still be paid. She's also poured millions of dollars into what the agency has labeled a values journey, which many employees say is a demand to become sufficiently woke. Employees say they're being sent to diversity training and are constantly receiving emails offering seminars and webinars on diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility training. Employees call that just the tip of the iceberg of wokeness and say it diverts resources from the agency's stated mission of protecting wildlife and habitats. Activists with the Just Stop Oil group disrupted the World Snooker Championships in Sheffield, England by pouring orange powdered paint onto a green clothed playing table. The protest took place in the Crucible Theater where two matches of the first stage of the World Snooker Championship were being played. Snooker is a cue game similar to billiards. It uses a different set of balls and a different table with different dimensions, but in essence, it's billiards. No offense to snooker players, but could the protesters have chosen a lower visibility event to interrupt? For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.